unconvincing. I can only say unconvincing and misfiring. Celtic really do look as if they could go on all day. Two Celtic players take to social media after the game yesterday and Hugh Keevans did it again. Yep, he said that Celtic were bang average and he was basically slating Celtic on Clyde FM and also two Rangers players, two ex-Rangers players were left raging at a penalty award. Yes, the first penalty award that Celtic have been given this season at Celtic Park. I think there's one every week over at Ibrox, but they were left fuming, raging. We'll talk about Neil McCann and Richard Foster and this video this morning, so I hope your hangovers aren't as bad as mine. We'll go to the Greg Taylor one. Greg Taylor took to social media after the game and he basically said a much needed break coming up. Um, I think that's probably a little sly dig at the fact that he's not in the Scotland team, but he is looking forward to the break. And the players are obviously getting a couple of days off this week. Another player that took to social media after what a goal he scored again. You have to say, Haxibanovic goal and the O goal yesterday. O is going to be some player. He bullied. It's what we needed in that defence. And there was a couple of, folk, a couple of people said in the channel, um, we'd love to see Kyogo and O playing together. And we got our wish yesterday. We got a glimpse of what that could look like next season. And I think as the manager might change the, the formation slightly and go with the two strikers because you get that big guy bullying the defenders and Kyogo running around like a maniac. It's what we've been crying out for at Celtic, and it could be absolutely fantastic. But heck, said Haxabanovic, who a lot of people say is an actual born striker, he also scored yesterday. And it was great to see him going on social media after the game and putting up a post saying passion, mindset, and love with a four leaf clover and a green heart. So back to the Sevco, ex Sevco players, uh, two former Rangers players, Neil McCann and Richard Foster. We're disputing the legitimacy of the Celtic penalty when Carter Carter Vickers was brought down. Speaking of the sports scene, um, McCann says that, yep, Celtic got back into the game with a soft penalty. Sit back and light up a cigar. Anyway, that's what um, that's what the Celtic keeper must have been doing for half the game yesterday, except for the point where, um, what can you say about our defender that pulls a shot? He has previous for it. And I think there's something that he'll be looked at. And I mean, it was a soft penalty. The, the player wasn't really going anywhere. I think it was Taylor was in front of him. But it was pulled back. He looked at VAR. Um, he did have a hold in his shirt. Correct decision. Uh, we take it on the chin. We move on. We win. And that's it. We never stop. Um, Carter Carter Vickers was brought down in the pitch in, in the game. And it was a soft penalty, according to... Richard Foster and Neil McCann. They accuse Cameron Carter Vickers of essentially cheating. The irony. The irony. The irony of the... If they, I bet they don't say that when you get penalty Rangers, when they play penalty bingo um, up in the main stand at, at Sevco Land every week because they must do. They must actually go in and put a bet. If I was a Sevco fan, you would actually be putting a bet on what time you're actually getting a penalty. It happens that Often, Neil McGrann piped up, says he agrees with Neil. It was very soft. Initially, Hanlon is looking at the ball and could be impeded. Um, who cares? We, we win the game at 3-1 at the end. We've got a couple of cracking goals. I'm talking about cracking goals and pundits getting it so wrong. Hugh Keevens over at Clyde once again says this could be a strange moment in the title race. Celtic dropped two points at home to ten men. They've had 26 or 27 chances, he goes on to say. But where they look rather unconvincing and misfiring. Celtic really do look like they could go on all day and not score. Then he was interrupted. And that interruption came in this manner. They were to listen live now. Could be a, a, a strange moment in the title race. Uh, Celtic dropped two points at home to ten men. But they... they they are, I mean, the 27, 28 chances, whatever, they look unconvincing. I can only say unconvincing and misfiring. Celtic really do look as if they could go on all day and not score. Goal flashes <laughs> with Clyde Belt Home Improvements. And it's a substitution that's worked. It is, oh, it's a terrific header from a corner. He liked it. He's got the shirt off. He's off celebrating. He's got that get it right <clears throat> Hugh Keevens t shirt on underneath it. 
So that was absolutely comedy gold again, once again for Hugh Keevans. And it's even funnier when you see the likes of Neil McCann crying almost on national television, bemoaning the fact that Celtic win the game. Celtic won out convincingly at the end of the game. It was, I mean, it was relentless from Celtic the second half. Hibbs' game plan was just to come and sit in the sat with the back five to start with. And then, I mean, they were playing with no striker for basically the entire night. Well, once they got their players sent off. Late goals from Owen Haksabanovic left McCann sitting with tears in their eyes. It's absolutely fantastic at the top of the league. Top of the league was sitting on obviously 82 points. The safe course sitting on 73. And it shows you when you look at the league that, I mean, there's the, probably the biggest back gap we've seen in a few years from third to second. I mean, Hearts are only on 45 points. Aberdeen are on 41. Hibs are on 40. Livingston 39. St. Mirren 38. So it's quite tight. Sorry for the top six. And then you go down to Johnson. St. Johnson are 32. So what can we take so far from this season? I think everyone outside, obviously, us has been buying average. Sevco have changed, obviously, changed manager. Hearts... Um, Hibs and Aberdeen and, and Myers have probably had a poor season. What do you think? Who cares? Who cares? And on that note, I hope you have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world. Top of the league looking down on the, the Sevco going into an international break. Let's roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the